We begin tonight with an arrest in the kidnapping and murder of a nurse who was just walking to her car at the end of her shift. Patrice Wilson had just worked the night shift Friday into Saturday at Detroit Receiving Hospital. Thanks for being with us, everybody. I'm Kimberly Gill. I'm Devin Skillian. Wilson's body was found Sunday in the trunk of an SUV outside her apartment complex in Novi. And now the man accused of abducting her and killing her is under arrest. Sean Lay got an update from the chief here just in the past hour. Sean. Devin, we're learning that Jameer Miller turned himself in actually yesterday afternoon around 2 o'clock. Only now is DPD confirming that arrest as the investigation continues. The chief calling the loss of nurse Patrice Wilson absolutely tragic. Here's how Wilson's family is reacting to us tonight. How did you find out? That? We got a call this morning saying that uh, they had picked him up and we're so happy about that. Now we got to go forward. You know, it's still a lot of more questions that need to be asked. The grandmother of 29 year old Patrice Wilson reacting today about the manhunt coming to an end for 36 year old Jameer Miller. Police called Miller a suspect in the kidnapping of the young nurse. Wilson was leaving Detroit receiving hospital after her overnight shift early Saturday morning when police believe Miller abducted her in the hospital parking lot. Wilson's kidnapper was wearing a blonde wig as a disguise. Police found Wilson's vehicle at her apartment complex in Novi. Her body was discovered in the trunk. After several search warrants were executed, the suspect uh, feeling the pressure of this investigation uh, due to all of the search warrants, all of the activities by those agencies that I just identified, uh, the suspect uh, negotiated his surrender via his lawyer. Heartbroken family members of Patrice Wilson say she and Miller at one time did have a relationship, but say Wilson was trying to get away from Miller. Viral video from a few years back, Wilson's family says is Miller allegedly trying to get in to Wilson's home. They were in a, a previous dating relationship, and it is my understanding uh, they had uh, recently broken up. Domestic violence continues to be a problem in our community. Uh, we have resources. We have uh, domestic violence victim assistance uh, units in our agency, and they can be reached at 313-883-1660. Now stay with us for Local 4 News at 6 o'clock. We continue to investigate all these details here, including details of a woman named Bianca Green. Bianca Green, she went missing back in 2011 is something we covered. Crime Stoppers covered it also. She has not been seen since, and we know that the... Uh, the Bianca Green was the girlfriend of Jameer Miller, the man in custody right now. No charges so far. The chief says the investigation is wide open at this time. Back to you. Sean, we heard the chief. They're very concerned about domestic violence and the lives lost. Extremely concerned. 12 lives lost, including this young nurse over the weekend. 12 so far this year. The chief did mention resources and numbers. All of that domestic violence resources on our website. Click on Detroit.com. Yeah. All right, Sean.